he was close to 40. I would really love to be close to 40. I am 40, okay, so y'all know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, some of us are well beyond that. Um, so uh, I asked uh, Dan what he wanted me to talk to you about, and he asked me to talk to you a little bit about the Design Build Institute of America, what we do, what we're about, and I think one of the things you guys might be interested in is what we can help you guys with. So Design Build is defined as, I always like to define this because some people don't know, it's the same uh, entity, both designs and constructs. Um, it is becoming the uh, construction method of the federal government. Um, I think the statistics are that 75% of the core work is now being done design build. Um, almost all of NAFAC's work is being done design build. Um, they are continually uh, not necessarily doing the best job in the world, but they are trying to incorporate DBIA best practices. The Design Build Institute of America is actually a national organization. We're headquartered in Washington, D.C. Um, what we try to do is to educate folks on best practices for um, the delivery method. Um, we advocate for the use of the delivery method because the belief is that the best way to deliver a construction project is when the designer and the contractor talk and communicate and work together from the very beginning. And one of the best ways to do that is to have that entity be the same organization, be the same company. Um, and it, it makes a lot of sense when you talk about um, incorporating things like lean construction methods. Anybody heard of the lean construction methods? That's very huge. Um, that's actually, I, I believe, the way that construction is going to go in the future. Um, to incorporate lean construction methods, you have to have those early communication and collaboration and design bid build doesn't get you there. GCCM sort of gets you there, um, but uh, design build um, tries to get you there as much as possible. So that's what we do. Um, we have a lot of um, opportunities um, within the organization for education. One of our primary um, missions is to educate folks. Um, we have a manual of practice that talks about how you can, uh, well, DBIA best practices. We have position statements. Um, we have a whole range of um, fairly intense education uh, opportunities um, that basically start you from soup to nuts through a design build project and get you to understand those. Those are offered, um, we're fortunate in the Northwest to be able to offer, I think we have almost every class available over the course of the year um, and so you can get that through the national organization and regionally um, we have a very active um, region and um, we're not really the Seattle chapter, but we have a very active local group um, that every other month we have a breakfast and we put on um, really, um, I think, thought-provoking, very interesting um, uh, different topics. Um, we usually have an owner look ahead where we invite public owners to come in and talk about what they're doing. Um, we've got uh, one focused on transportation. We've got usually one focused on water wastewater. And then we have um, a number of what I have found to be incredibly fascinating um, sort of project um, uh, dissections. Uh, what went well? What didn't go well? How can we do this better? Um, but I think the best thing that uh, people get if you are get involved with DBIA is the networking. Um, we've got 60 to 70 people um, at each one of our breakfasts. Um, you uh, end up networking with a lot of the people who are doing a lot of the work in town. Um, so it's not just with, um, you're, you're in the room, there are subs, there are designers, there are general contractors, there are design builders, there's everybody in there. And what they're all trying to do is improve the construction process. That's why I do design build. Um, when I started uh, being a construction lawyer, way longer than I really want to think about it. I've been a lawyer for 23 years, and I started doing this about 21 years ago. And um, I, I found that it was so frustrating because I felt like it was construction by combat, and I couldn't figure out how it was that people actually built buildings when the first thing that, an that a public agency would do is hire the, you know, sign the contract, and the next thing they would do is hire the claims consultant. And I swear to you, that's exactly what happened. And, I, and all of the communications went through the lawyers, and I thought, how is this an efficient process? And then I started doing um, design build. Actually, my first design build project was a golf course for one of our local billionaires. 
Um, and I thought, wow, this is how construction should work. This is great. These people are experts. They know what they're doing. This is wonderful. And then I started doing a lot more design build work. And, and uh, I just find that it's a more enjoyable way to deal with people. But anyway, I don't know if you wanted anything else from me. Do you have any handouts? Oh, I don't have any handouts. Um, we do have, I did want to tell people if you are at all interested, just because I'm the chair of this year's national conference in New Orleans. Great place, New Orleans. Yeah. So in November, we have a national conference. It is a fabulous place to um, meet people, but we also have local events. And um, dbia.org is the way to get to, um, you can, our local region is DB, dbianyc.org, or in, I'm sorry, nwc.org. Um, but you can get to it all through dbia.org. And I encourage all of you to, you know, at least look into it, see if there's anything of interest to you. 